Hello everyone, welcome back to Shorecode. Today we will be recapping all the data types and operators we have learnt. So first off we have the arithmetic operators which are just operators to do math. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus, indices and floor division. If you can't remember, modulus returns a remainder after the first operand has been divided by the second operand. Floor division rounds a value down if it's a decimal. Indices are exponents or powers, for example, 2 to the power of 5 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, now there's assignment operators. The first and main one is just the equal sign. It just assigns one value to a variable. Then there are the arithmetic operators combined with the equal sign to assign a value that has been returned from an arithmetic operator. That might sound a bit confusing, but for example, x plus equals 5 is the same as x equals x plus 5. So x equals x, which is the original value, plus 5. So the new value equals original value plus 5. We cannot just write x plus 5 because that doesn't assign the new number to x. Then there's comparison operators as well. They are used to compare two values in an if statement. They're as follows equal, not equal, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. Finally, we have logical operators. These are used in if statements to combine two or more comparison operators. They are and, or, and not. And returns true if both operands are true, or returns true if either operand is true. Not only requires one operand and returns true if the operand is false. Okay, that's all the operators. Now on to data types. We have one text type, which is a string, just some text. They are shown by being surrounded by speech marks or quote marks. We have two numeric types, integers and floating point numbers. Integers are just whole numbers. Floating point numbers are numbers that contain decimals. They are shown by just writing the number. Lastly, we have booleans, true or false, they can only be one or the other. They are written with their first letters as a capital. Python won't recognise them otherwise. Okay, that's the end of the summary. I'm going to set you one big challenge and see if you can do it. I'll be covering all the solutions to the challenges next video, and the video after that will be the solution to this big challenge. So what I want you to do is create a grams to ounces converter. You will need to have an input in grams. Check if the value is greater than zero. If it isn't, leave an error message. If it is, continue with the program. Then print the output. The formula is divide the amount of grams by 28.35. So 1 gram equals 0 0.035274. Okay, so that's all for today guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell, and share these videos. It helps me out a lot. If you have any questions about Python or any errors in your code, make sure to leave them in the comments section below. That's it from me. Thanks for watching.